Hi, good afternoon. My name is Chen Yin. My group and I will be presenting on the Sahi WND house. This house is located in Hue, Vietnam by Sila Architects. They mainly focus on residential and hospitality projects, and this is one of them. The client here is Vo Thi Tui. It is the wife of the lead architect, which, which is also the owner of the homestay retreat that the house is located in. The materials they use are mainly very uh, environmentally friendly. So for example, they use reclaimed wood, which is upcycled wood taken from the cities, touching roof, uh, which is dried vegetation, such as dried palm leaves and such. And then they also use polycarbonate panels and uh, terracotta bricks. For the design intention of this house, uh, the main theme of it is that they wanted to connect the resident with the their surrounding. So surrounding the house will be planted with a lot of veg vegetation, which gives that nature feeling. And th uh, the architects want whoever is staying in the house to feel like they are connected with nature. Uh, moving on to the site context. Okay, so uh, for the site context, as you can see, the gray area is our site. And then in front of that, the big one is um, the field and the back of our site is actually the hill. And um, you can see defined is the, basically the north point and the sun path of the, um, for the site and where the winds come in. So for our site, the Sahi house is use the stack regulation to improve the air, uh, air circulation in the house. And then you can see the model. Um, basically, it shows the, how the suns like come in, the sunlight come in into the house for the user. And the topper area here, the polycarbonate is used so that the user can experience the view of the field and the view of the town itself. So moving on to the space planning. So basically for the space planning, as you can see, uh, this is how our space is formed from our plan. And then the dotted area or the white model, you can uh, as show in the model, is represent the services area, uh, which means the kitchen and the toilet. And then the, the transparent material here, is represent the public area. And then why the transparent material is used is because uh, it is the open area. Then the upper level here, uh, which made by the balsa wood is actually the private area where the barrel is located. Okay, okay. So yeah, move on to the next slide. Okay, moving on to the concept. The concept of this uh, Sahi house is connection which is realized by alternating the volumes and creating gaps between them to encourage the interaction between um, the humans that are staying as well as with nature itself. So as you can see through the drawings, uh, we have highlighted the volumes as well as feed out the voids. So the void would be where the connection would be mainly happening. And as you can see through the model over here, it's pretty clear as well. So we have uh, used the translucent parts for the bedrooms and also the modeling cut for the services areas. Um, okay, so moving on towards the next one would be the front elevation. I think it's pretty self-explanatory as well as the east elevation. So over on the right here, we have um, two joints and joineries that are mainly used, which are the ridge connection as well as the post beam connection. Okay, moving on. This is the section of our house where you can see where you can see the inside the inside of the 
of the site elevation and our structure has a sense of grid and reputation uh, the reputation for the support from the support of the framework and in the model you can see you can see the primary and secondary support of the framework on the roof as well as the the first floor whereas the ground floor is made of mostly more concrete and solid materials and is only supported by our three columns Okay, and for circulation, uh, the circulation is shown with solid and dotted lines in the diagrams and also a, a red line in the model. So uh, in terms of the diagrams, the solid line is used uh, to show the main uh, primary circulation, which is the main pathway into the building, which it leads into the uh, communal space, which also the guests of the house would uh, normally be um, on the ground floor, the secondary circulation uh, leads to the service areas, which include um, the kitchen and the two toilets. And vertically towards the first floor, uh, it also leads to, uh, it separates into two, two different uh, paths. Uh, to the right hand, uh, right hand uh, living area and sleeping area, and also to the left hand. Uh, living and sleeping area as well. Uh, notably, uh, the first floor doesn't have its uh, circulation on its own. So uh, the residents will need to have to go to uh, the ground floor to circulate to the other uh, living and sleeping quarter. Also, um, the, uh, the, living, the right hand and left hand uh, sleeping uh, in living quarters who have their own uh, uh, bathrooms as well. As you can see, uh, the right hand uh, living space above leads directly towards the right hand bathroom on the ground floor, as well as the left hand uh, living and sleeping quarter would also di lead directly towards the left hand bathroom on the ground floor. 